Where I feel like they went wrong though, I feel like when their house was toilet papered, they should have beefed up their security by 10. There was no alarm that went off when nothing came close to your door or nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that should have happened. Well, I was just like, all right, come on now. Y'all didn't have nothing on your phone that alerts you when a, a, a window breaks or when somebody comes too close to your door. to my channel so my hair looks a little bit crazy right now but that's fine so um this morning i watched the ace family video and initially when i watched their original video of the robbery and everything i thought wow this is this is terrible like this is so bad considering the fact that you know they have their daughter in the house and Catherine is pregnant. It's just a bad situation period and I can relate to them in a case like that because Our home has been robbed before back in Jamaica and Boy when I tell you it was such a tough time after the robbery Like when it happened and like the whole situation was just hard and it was so much different from theirs because We were still home when it happened. We were in the house sleeping when it happened and if there if there's anybody who watches my videos that used to go to high school with me they would have known about this because i was going to high school at the time the next morning was a school morning and the day after was a school morning and i had to go to school the day after but obviously the day when it happened we didn't go to school because they wanted to take everybody to the doctors to make sure you're fine and this that and whatever but it was just so bad i this is the first time i've ever actually um really opened up about it per se and this was years ago i can't even remember how long probably nine years ago i'm not really sure i mean i have to ask my mom how long ago it happened but it, it, it was a while probably 2009 and the i feel like the most traumatic part of the whole thing was that we were still home when it happened like it was it was just so bad after the robbery we were afraid to be home we didn't want to be in the house but we lived there you know we had police escorts you know um my mom used to run a restaurant we had police taking us home and we had police there on a regular patrolling just to make sure that everything was good i don't know if we were targeted well yeah because of the fact that my mom was a businesswoman and they came looking for a specific thing because they asked when they were there my mom was the only one who was awake because she's such a light sleeper now i'm a light sleeper but my mom is such a light sleeper that if anybody comes in the house like she's awake um it was said that you know they did something while we were still asleep when it happened but we were kids you know and my mom told us that when we were actually waking up is when they left because they said the kids were waking up so they had to leave so they ran out but i'm telling you it's such a hard thing to deal with and you never know until you're in a situation like that so initially when it happened i was just like i cannot believe somebody is going through this this is so bad this is horrible you know and to eat. it was odd that they shared it because the day after i didn't want to talk about it but everybody had already known you know everybody in my school knew well probably not everybody but a lot of people knew you know so people were asking are you okay how do you feel so i had to kind of talk about it to some extent to like my friends and stuff but separate from that i didn't really want to talk about it and I can understand for them considering the fact that they have such a large following like something like that happening and them not saying nothing would be like okay people have questions you know people want to know what happened and not that they're obligated to telling everybody on the internet everything that happened in their life but when you're a public figure I guess that is something that comes with it I wasn't a public figure when we were robbed but people knew so I had to talk about it even on days where I didn't really want to talk about it yes I didn't go into details but I had to say something and then so back to the relating this to the ace family's robbery because it all ties in 
um them speaking about it it, it was kind of like oh damn like to see you come out and talk about it like so quickly that's crazy um yes some things in the video were a bit sketchy like the fact that um they said the people who were gonna come out to do the fingerprint was gonna come in a few days back in jamaica when we were robbed the the fingerprint people came within a few hours you know so it was kind of odd because i'm just like all right that was jamaican this is hair like why would it take a few hours but still i wasn't like oh my gosh they're liars or whatever until somebody made a video saying their robbery was staged now the person who made that video kind of did a good job with that video because they had receipts showing that oh hey they paid actors and you know this police is this same one from the from the website and i'm just like damn they would really do some stuff like that but i wasn't really surprised because i know that people who make videos on youtube like i've been watching youtube for a hot ass minute so i know that people who make videos will do stuff for the sake of content just something to post of course i didn't think they were terrible people because they're doing something like this because other people did it before and of course a comment or two from me maybe in somebody else's comment section saying oh damn i cannot believe they did this if they did this they're they're terrible you know because it's all just like they're telling us one story and then somebody else is coming out with a whole other story and the 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 as i said the person who made the video saying their robbery would, was staged it was they did a good job and then trisha paytas was saying you know them having the kid pose for a thumbnail and stuff like that i was like all right yeah they really did drag it doing that because it's just like this is such a real experience and to where do you find the time to pose for a thumbnail but this morning when i watched their video and Catherine explained that listen we're youtubers and we're always gonna think okay let's pose for a thumbnail or you know some stuff associated with youtube i guess i kind of understood when she said it because a lot of times i'm going out with my husband or i'm doing something and i'm just like maybe i should vlog a little bit you know because we're doing something it's something different from what i normally do on a daily basis which is probably being home or separate from like working this is something different this is something i want to remember this is something i want to vlog that's why i make my videos to remember stuff you know memorable moments that i want to show my kids later on and i feel like i say this a lot so i guess i get where they're coming from when she said you know austin was recording it and they wanted to show it and stuff like that we wanted to see and if we if we can all be honest with ourselves we wouldn't want to hear later on that they got robbed and they didn't even show it because we feel like it's better coming from them and then um in the video Catherine was also saying you know she was she was giving pretty much a rundown of what happened leading up to the robbery and like after and she was saying they were running down the street and you know they weren't even thinking about knocking on doors and then austin said let's just keep it real nobody was coming out but then when austin said that i was just like i thought y'all was always keeping it real what do you mean let's just keep it real so y'all weren't keeping it real and um I get where they're coming from when you know he was saying they were forced I feel like this new video just opened up a lot and just showed us so much that we didn't know and you don't really know what's going on in somebody's life if they don't tell you or if they don't show you we only know what they show us there's only so much that we know there's probably so much that goes on behind the scenes that we really don't know you know and to hear them say people were outside of their house every day taking pictures and doing all types of stuff and it's just like Catherine didn't feel safe going outside or you know going to take a walk or i remember commenting on their initial video saying i think they should move because um they wouldn't feel safe there no more i remember after or robbery I did not want to go home. I literally did not want to go home. There were so many nights where we we stayed somewhere else just because it was easier to stay somewhere else because you could get a good night's sleep instead of going home knowing very well that you won't be able to sleep because it is just so traumatic. And I remember when we did go home, we were all bundled up in my mom's room on her bed because it was such a scary situation. Like nobody wanted to be in their room by themselves because it's just so scary you don't know if even though we knew that the cops were patrolling we just did not it was just so scary and 
you are so shaken up by an experience like this where you just don't want to be alone in a room you just don't when we woke up the morning everybody else's phone was gone except mine and my mom's and how my phone wasn't gone was because I sleep with my phone underneath me. I don't know why, but it's, or underneath my pillow. I don't know why, but it's always been a thing that I did. And because of that, it wasn't like out in the open where they could come and like pick it up and like be gone with it, you know, but everybody else's phone was. My mom sleeps with her phone the same way too. And my mom said she could remember, like they told her to like put the sheet over her head or, you know, cover her face or whatever. I don't really know. It's, it's, Ah, even talking about it is like so it brings you back to the moment so bad and she said she remembered dialing the police and the cop was stupid enough to ask her are they gone like I'm calling you and I'm trying to let you hear what's going on and you're asking if they're gone what are you doing you know what I'm saying so even to hear them say the cops were so nice and you know they were there for them that's good but i feel like this this new video that they posted the one that says saying goodbye it really just showed me a whole a whole different side to to the whole situation and where i feel like they went wrong though i feel like when their house was toilet papered they should have beefed up their security by 10 just because you see that your channel is growing rapidly okay people do crazy things all the time and by this time people were already coming to your house and what what i feel like what i feel like was also very outstanding about um their house being toilet papered was the fact that they didn't find out until the morning after i feel like in an industry like this and you know with things going the way how it's going you have a huge channel people are talking upstairs you have a huge channel and you're growing so much and somebody came on your property and they toilet papered your house and you didn't there was no alarm that went off when nothing came close to your door or nothing you know what i'm saying like that should have happened i feel like if i was in their position when i watched the original um robbery video i was just like all right come on now y'all didn't have nothing on your phone that alerts you when a, a, a window breaks or when somebody comes too close to your door or something like that like you'd like to think being in a position that you're in you would have this stuff on hand and i know they said they had cameras and probably they didn't show you know what they picked up on the cameras just because that could possibly be evidence that's potential evidence that could like um bring them closer to solving the mystery of finding out who robbed their home but i feel like where they really went wrong was to not amp up their security when their house was toilet papered because even though that was funny and even though they did find out that it was their brother it's still something to think about like he did say listen i feel like you should get more security and i agreed with him just because i feel like nobody should be able to come into your home whether it's to go to come into your yard pretty much whether it's to go over your gate or go under or go through or something without some alarm or something going off especially since you have a whole baby in the house that you're so concerned about you know i'm not bashing them or anything because obviously this is like a hard time for them and i know very well that this is a hard time because we've my family has been through like a similar situation but i just feel like they could have taken so many more steps to prevent some stuff from happening i feel like now it's good where you know they moved and nobody knew that they moved until now which is like after the fact and nobody really knows where they live i feel like that's how they should have done it from first yes you can do a house tour there's so many other youtubers that we watch and that we've loved for years and they show like the outside of their home but we still don't know where they live so i feel like they could have been a little bit more cautious as to protecting where they live and stuff like that just because i i'm that person who feels like when you're home you should feel like you are home you shouldn't have to worry about somebody being at your gate because they know who you are and they know where you live you know of course at some point somebody is gonna find out where you live but not so much people to the point where it feels like somebody's coming to your house putting on a show you know so sometimes you have to really as much as you want to share your life you have to like 
edit how much you show and I'm sure they do that you know but sometimes you still have to like cut back a little bit more don't show the outside of your home you could still do a house tour and people could still see all the details of the inside of your house and still don't know where you live and that's just my that's just where I stand people can say what they want in the comment section down below because there are always some little kids who don't agree with what you're saying just because it's their favorite youtuber and they feel like they need to come talk shit but i don't really care this is just my opinion and i always say this too opinions are like assholes and everybody has one and this is just my opinion thank you guys for watching this video is more on the you know sad side because talking about somebody being robbed is just a sad situation all over but i will see you guys in my next video and hopefully it's more upbeat than this one